Oh, swiped at it. Swiped again. Nice. Oh, that's pretty killer. Get out of the sticks, buddy. Oh, freak, he's in the sticks. In today's video, we've got lots of flies flying around. Green drakes, PMDs, caddis, lots of insects popping. Goldens and sallies, crane flies. At the end of this video, stay tuned, and I'm gonna go through each of the flies that we use and the ones that I queued up. That was a caddis eater. Oh, that guy ate the drake pretty good. So you can understand the situation, why I use what fly when I used it. Bionic ant eater. They're going after those sallies. So here's the video, stay tuned to the end and I'll give the explanation. Drake's coming off, PMDs. Looks like a couple caddis flitting around too. A little windier today, so I went with the Orbis nine foot, nine and a half foot five blackout. Oh yeah, that spooked him. Okay, I got a tone down pushing a three and four weight all day yesterday. <laughs> this rod feels like a cannon compared to yesterday. A lot of times people don't realize <clears throat> on smaller streams, it can sometimes be an advantage to have a longer rod. A lot of times we think in terms of, oh, I need a seven and a half, eight and a half foot. But the nice thing about a shorter or a longer rod is I can pull longer men's, <clears throat> more line off the water. Oh, swiped at it. Swiped again. Nice. Oh, that's pretty killer. Get out of the sticks, buddy. No, nope, you get out of there. Oh, freak, he's in the sticks. We'll see. Oh, he's gone. Oh, lesson learned, boys and girls. Wrapped around that pretty good. What happened? Well, you see, you know, when my situation where I've been fishing for a couple weeks now, I should know better than to let the fish charge into the deadfall. Bad news. Drake for the win though, he ate that. That was a good fish. So, and I've seen some more drakes. So that's double good sign. Okay, one more. Yeah, one more. I don't know if he, he refused it or if he... That was a big fish. Okay. I'll go with the little dropper. Okay, we had a fish swipe. Decent sized fish. Swiped at the drake. But uh, another cast uh, didn't produce anything. So I'm just going with a small little PMD dropper. I don't need to get it down super far because the fish are actually pretty active. I've had all these fish swipe and the one eight that I don't know why I lost it. I don't know uh, what happened back there, but we're gonna drake this one up. Okay, I'm not letting him out. Although there's down, there's down trees and bushes all over the place here. Yep. How about that, sucker? Okay, so what's going on here is we've got yellow sallies, green drakes, PMDs, caddis, and who knows what else floating down here. Fish are not super shy about coming up. They're not actively, a ton of them actively rising, but this is more of a, a situation where we just want to target 
areas that we know fish are gonna sit, like that one I caught up there. I didn't see any fish rising in that area, but I knew they'd be under those little branches. So that's why I kind of had to come in and do a, we call that the ninja chop cast. I don't know what other people call it, but it is in fact a ninja cast under like that. Which reminds me, uh, five weight, definitely overkill for water like this. So I think I'm gonna switch to an Air 2 Winston in a four. That is gonna be tough. I'm gonna have to get up further. Nailed it. It's the cat food. Again, no risers, but <clears throat> he decided to come out and play. Nice. Huh. Whatever that was, wasn't to my fly. They're going after those sallies. Okay, that's it. It's gonna float right into them. Oh, dang. He wanted that. Eey. I'm just gonna go ahead and release him right here. Okay, yeah, just like that. I had to switch back to the Orvis uh, Covert Helios because I snagged the other one. I don't know what happened. It somehow got into a bush. It wasn't my fault, but uh, we just traded out. He ate a Drake again, so there's that. All right, a lot of this water is kind of Pick your best spot and then hike. Oh, that guy ate the drake pretty good. Oh, I'm gonna go ahead and release him right there. Okay. <laughs> All right, we've got now stone flies, including yellow sallies, goldens and sallies, caddis, PMDs. Drakes, crane flies, pretty much all the aquatic insects are in the pool. So what do I tie on? Bionic ant. Show you why. <laughs> Little guy. Bigger guy's in there. <laughs> no harm, no foul. Well, we know he'll eat that. Keller fish. I don't know what you're talking about, man. I planned that. <laughs> yeah, so I guess wondering where to find the fish and whether or not the bionic ant would work, which I know it does. Bionic ant eater. Nice little brown. Okay, that's not nice. Oh, that was a caddis eater. Oh, oh. look at it. <laughs> Missed it. Little guy, but nonetheless. Oh, bigger fish, bigger fish, yep. Oh, yeah, that's a caddis eater. Another one. Oh, see that? Yep. He flashed at it. Right there. Oh. You might have to put a smaller fly on. You think? I mean, they're refusing it. Oh. oh. I put a different, I put it on the smaller fly. They're going to go eat it. Well, I'll tell you what. If they won't eat a corn fed, something's wrong with these fish. So, we're gonna tie on a size two chubby Chernobyl. Just joking. 
I'm gonna go with something smaller, but still would pass as a caddis. So that means another missing link, but a smaller one. Sometimes you just gotta downsize to get these suckers to eat. Fish number one. You've refused me twice. Oh, he thinks he's going over there. Well, guess what, buddy? You're not. Yep, he did not refuse. He ate it, hook, line, and sinker. Oh, okay. That was not a refusal. That was just poor planning on my part. Sorry, I didn't even think there was a fish there. Nice. That was about the closest to that log jam I could be without getting all boogered up. How about that? Boom. Swim free, little buddy. Or just go into the log jam and get trapped. <laughs> yeah, he was, I, I just kind of had to hold it yeah. and high stick it. And literally his tail had to been right there. <laughs> that was a little guy. <laughs> he ate it. Well, he ate it. Mr. Drake Eater. You mad. Well, after I'm pretty sure they were eating caddis over here. He decided to eat a fat, juicy drake. All right, we've uh, seen a lot of bugs today. Lots of mayflies, including PMDs, drakes, betas, some midges, lots of caddis, lots of drakes, some crane flies, and whatever else. Um, this guy decided to eat a drake, but it was a fun day. Small spring. So, in the video today, I used a bunch of different flies. Probably one of the more difficult things, June, where we are in Utah, is knowing which fly to use because there were uh, lots of different ones coming out. There was big dr green drakes, there were small green drakes, there were yellow sallies, there were PMDs, there were little betas, lots of caddis, probably three or four different kinds. And so, here's the progression that I used as I got into them and kind of show you why I used them. So, first off, and my by far the best pattern that I used in uh, the, day, the course of the day was Mercer's Missing Link in the Green Drake flavor. So here's what the Missing Link looks like. One of the reasons I like the Missing Link is because it can imitate a bunch of different things. In this case, there were a lot of Green Drakes popping and you saw I caught a few on the surface, but it can imitate a lot of different things. So maybe at one level it could look like a, a downed caddis, it could look like a crane fly, which there were flying around as well. But overall, the missing link, Green Drake, was probably my most effective pattern. With any of these flies, click on the link in the description and it will take you to either the tutorial and or where to purchase these flies if you wanna use them yourself. Okay, kind of at the same time there, a fly I didn't use as much today was the Green Drake Fripple. This is one of my designs that's tied through Fulling Mill. We also sell it link in the description below. Um, this one I like because it holds uh, the surface, it will sit on the surface pretty nicely, but then that butt will fall into uh, just below the surface and kind of show more bug for the bang for the buck. But I didn't use this one. I think I used it for a couple of casts. Um, the missing link probably did better in that case, mostly because I fished it that way. And although we didn't make it to the A roll, there were a a lot of yellow sallies flying around, so I uh, had queued up a yellow sally. Uh, didn't catch any on it, probably could have if I had fished it longer. This is a corn-fed sally from Lance. And speaking of Lance, his bionic ant was responsible for a few fish today. Um, you need to have some of these bionic ants in your box. The nice thing about a day like today where he had all these bugs popping, the bionic ant, which you didn't see a ton of ants floating around in the water, but the fish were keying on the surface, and if they see this big juicy steak dinner floating by, 
they're going to eat it. So always have a bionic ant. Now we moved up to another hole that you saw and I fished, uh, I switched over to a corn fed also on the Lance's patterns. Didn't have as good luck. In fact, I got some refusals on this one. The corn fed normally is an excellent uh, caddis pattern. In this case, I think it was a little too big. The caddis that they were eating were a little smaller. So at Spencer's insistence, I switched to something smaller. And in this case, I switched to a small little missing link. And this is kind of one of my top do-it-all attractor patterns. Because again, it could be a mayfly, it could be a small caddis, it could be a sally. And this one, as soon as I tied it on, and you can see in that uh, hole where I fished this, the fish just lit it up. So that's kind of the progression of the flies that we used. Again, if you want to learn more about these flies, there are links down in the description. But give these a try. Check us out on flyfishfood.com and learn your bugs. I got sticked by sticks. <laughs>